Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the first episode in our Let's Play Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Randomizer Challenge. Uh, for those of you who don't know the challenge, basically the rules are the game is completely randomized, any Pokemon can pop up anywhere. You can only catch one Pokemon per route. Uh, all your Pokemon have to be nicknamed so you grow attachment to them. And if any of your Pokemon die, then that Pokemon is no longer usable for the rest of the lock. And a wipe means an instant fail. Okay, let's get started. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper, everybody calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers that come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me about yourself? Well, we certainly can. Are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. You're a boy, right? Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Okay, and for this we're going to put uh, Atomic. Oh. Nearly misspelled my own name with. Atomic. Your name is Atomic? Yes. So your name's Atomic. What a wonderful name. Oh, thank you. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Atomic, the moment you choose your Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many people and many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That's the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like we're going. It says Summer. I like how she had to introduce us to our own friends. As if she knows them better than us. That amuses me. But here we go. The scene opens to an idyllic town. Pokemon Black version. Sharon says, Atomic! I have from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Where is she? Ah, here she is. Am I a little late again? Sorry. Bianca, I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know. Sorry, Atomic. Sorry, Sharon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Atomic's house, so Atomic gets to pick first, naturally. Alright, I'll go first, I'm fine with that. Uh, so let's see, the Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Atomic, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Okay, so remember, this is completely randomized, so I could get anything in here. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. <laughs> Enjoy your Pokemon, Mr. Jumper. Okay, there's no need to settle choices politely because I'm going first. Okay, let's see what we get. The bug type Pokemon, Heracross. The bug type Pokemon, Bulby. Oh, two bug Pokemon. Oh, a third bug Pokemon, Kakuna. Okay, let's see. I think my favourite from these is Heracross. I've always liked Heracross, but I know it can't evolve. Actually, they might have changed that in the later gens. I've not really played much late gen, so maybe he can evolve now. But I think he's my favourite, so we're going to pick Heracross. Is this the Pokemon you want? Yes. 
I challenge chose Heracross. Hooray, so we've got our first Pokemon. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. <clears throat> hey, how can we get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind, I went for this one from the start anyway. Okay, so Sharon's being the good guy. He's taking the high ground. Letting Bianca go first. Bianca, everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know, let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Bianca says, don't be a worry, Wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We'll have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Atomic. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Okay, so we're having a battle, I think, in my room. Versus... Oh yeah, of course, so the name's randomised, isn't it? So she's not Bianca, but she is... Writer Anne. Okay, and she picked the Volbeat. Okay, let's see. Go Heracross. I wonder what moves we have as a level 5 Heracross. Female level 5 Heracross. Tackle, Leer, Horn Attack, and Endure. Okay, so we'll start with a Horn Attack, I think. Oh, okay, that was nice. So we might be able to 3 hit the, the Volbeat, which would be good. Eek, ouch, I won't let you get away with that. Okay, let's just let's just go for a horn attack again. Okay, there we go. So she's got flash. Interesting. Accuracy fell. Okay, I think we can go for one more horn attack, and that should do it. Oh, avoided the attack, you're kidding. Probably use tackle. This is the only battle that we can lose and still continue the the Nuzlocke, but I would rather not lose because I miss out on the experience then, and that'll just make it harder in the long run. And there we go, one more horn attack, and that's it, the Volbeat fainted. Heracross gained 211 experience, that sounds like a lot. Heracross grew to level 6. Great. Oh, and halfway to level 7. Just about. Pokemon on both sides did their best. 500 for winning. Ah, oh, man! Wow, I tell you you're going to be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. The room is wrecked though, Sharon was right, no doubt. Sharon, uh, Bianca, we should take a look around. Ah yes, so he's just pointing out that he was right. Wh whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing, so little but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, sorry about your room, Atomic. Well, uh, I guess I'll have to clean it up later. You're completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Sharon healed Bianca's Pokemon. Atomic's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Heal the Atomic's Pokemon. I do hope that Bianca is going to help us to tidy up. With all you know, I'm sure you can battle that turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right, it'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Those are definitely famous last words. I think something bad is going to happen. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. Also, we get two. Uh, it's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, my Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so we get two rival battles back to back. That's going to be a lot of experience, actually. Okay, so he is called. Let's see. Writer Pi, and he has the Kakuna. Okay, let's go, Heracross. I'm going to start off with a Leer, I think, because if I remember my Kakunas, I imagine they will use Harden a lot. There we go, yeah, Harden. Okay, so we'll go for the Horn attack now. I wonder if Harden is the only attack that the level 5 Kakuna has. That would be interesting if... Let's see, do we finish it off this night? No, because she used Harden since then, so it didn't quite two hit KO. And there we go, it's just a Harden again. I think Harden might be the only attack, but it doesn't matter because one more horn attack and we're going to finish off the Kakuna. There we go, first Kakuna fainted. Paracross gained 96 experience. That was so much less than the other one. What did the Volby give us? 211 or something like that? But anyway, we've reached level 7. Okay, so want to learn Fury Attack. Uh, I 
think I do want to forget. Let's see how much. 15, 2 to 5 times. That all this 50, horn attack for 65. What does Joe do again? Joe's any attack is 1 HP. I think I'm gonna get rid of tackle for that. Okay, Herobrine learned Fury Attack. Player defeated Writer Pi. So that's a Pokemon battle, he says. Sharon, I made this strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, we better come too. Ah, oh, so we're gonna get in trouble with Mom. I don't feel that this is fair. Look at this place, and it wasn't even my decision to to have a battle. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, Mom. Well, uh, we can clean up. Okay, so Bianca's gonna do it. Mom says, cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. That is not what a mum would say. Should you be any way to meet Professor Juniper? Definitely, definitely not what a mum would say. She'd be like, you're not going anywhere until your room is tidy. Anyway, yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. Uh, I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Bianca says, oh wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Ah, oh, okay, so our kind mother is going to clean the room for us. Oh no, maybe we're going to get a scolding now. My, my, Atomic. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Oh dear. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle you need to rest your Pokemon. Ah, so we get healed up. That's great. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Ah, oh, it's like a watch. Atomic obtained the X transceiver. Oh, cross transceiver, I see. Uh, I'll probably call it the X transceiver. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Okay, let's go and find the professor. Ah, there's Bianca. Oh, she's gone. Okay, so where do I think. I don't think the purpose is this way, but let's just go and see what's going on in these houses. Okay, so this is Bianca's house. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. And she's seen us. Oh, and she looks embarrassed. Oh, it's okay, it's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Oh dear. Is this Bianca's dad then? Doesn't seem very happy. Bianca's dad, what nonsense is this? How could my daughter who knows nothing about the world be going on a journey with Pokemon? Yes, so he's not very happy. What about the mum? Don't mind my husband, dear, he's just being overprotective. All children go on adventures with Pokemon, it's part of growing up. Ah, okay, so the mum is okay with it. Just the overprotective father who's not very happy. So that was Bianca's house. So do we think. Oh, let's see what this guy wants. The power of science is amazing. Now you can use infrared to do all sorts of things in the blink of an eye. That might be a reference to the DS's wireless technology. Do you think this is Charon's house then? Charon's dad. Oh, I missed that. Uh, I heard it from the professor. You're getting a Pokemon, eh? Oh, you've already got one. Hmm, that shows a cute Pokemon, and you're all finally starting your journeys as trainers. Well, let me read you a passage from a book called Adventure Rules. That sounds boring. The X button is vitally important for trainers. Never forget that. Well, I'm pressing the X button now. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> I should have known. Sharon's mom. That's Sharon. I'm sure he's at the laboratory. How so? He's so, how should I put it? Diligent, or better, conscientious. I'm sure a lot of kids who play this won't know what conscientious means. So it seems a strange choice to put into the game. Never mind, let's go to the lab. I don't want to talk to these guys, I'm sure they have nothing good to say. Ah, this must be the lab. There's Sharon and Bianca. Sharon. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Let's go. Meet the lady who gave us our Heracross. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Let's do for you, we know your name. But that was rude, Sharon. Interrupting. Let's see. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being said, so... Once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. 
Oh, that's unusual, you've already had a Pokemon battle, so maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, we would. Part of the rules is to help us grow an attachment to our Pokemon so that if we lose them, it's all the worst. Okay, it's a female Heracross. Oh, I do not know what to call it. I am so bad at nicknames. I'm going to go with... with... Uh, no, let's do it like this. Upper. Oh. Uh, you're going to love this. It's going to be terrible, but you're going to love it. Uh, ah. And then, do you remember what they did with the cross transceiver where they put an X? So it's her uh, across. Get it? I know, it's terrible. I said it was bad at doing nicknames. Uh -huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname her across? Yes. Her across is its name. That's such a great name. She's just lying to me now to make me feel better. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it's for the Pokédex, right? Pokédex? Mr. Juniper, I am astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. I don't think I need this, but maybe something's changed since I last played. The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter, so I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Atomic, Sharon, Bianca, you all go on an adventure to complete the Pokédex, will you not? Yes. Although, now that I think about it, we cannot catch everything. So that was a lie. Err, uh, never mind. I mean, yes, Professor. Sharon says, thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. First Juniper, all of you, thanks. You've given me the best possible answer. I guess that's Pokedex? Yes, that's Pokedex. Why is it black now? It's part black. Okay, next I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Okay, let's go. So since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Sharon says, of course. He's very sure. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokédex. Maybe I should do voices for all these people. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty boring with you hearing my name. Oh, for some reason, my heart is pounding atomic. Is that better or worse? I don't know. Finally, I can become a Pokemon trainer. I'll have real battles with other trainers and get stronger. Wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna save because this seems like an important point to save. So I can save the game, yes. Saving, don't turn off the power. Oh, that's not changed then. Okay, save the game. Let's go and find Professor Juniper. Bianca. Hey, Atomic, wait up. Mum. Oh, there you are. And what did the Professor have to say? She asked you to get the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. Oh, Mum. She's so sneaky. That's why I brought you three. Of the oh, that's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Okay, so we've got the town map. Atomic obtained the town map and put it in the key items case. Oh, and now she's giving one to each of them. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, Atomic, or what's left of it, no need for you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Atomic, she's such a good mum. Ah, Pokemon, they're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They really are something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! Okay, so that's the farewells to Mum. All done. Sharon, if I use a time map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Should we head to Route 1? The Professor's waiting. Bianca, let's go, let's go. Tell me, carry and come too, okay? I'm going. As soon as you let me move, I'll come. Okay, here we go. Oh, we walk so slowly. So slow. It's like a crawl. Bianca, Atomic, it's this way! Oh, I keep hearing to the voices. Sharon, Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take a first step at the same time. Oh, really? Hey, Atomic! Let's all take our first step on Route 1 together! That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, here we go. One, two, 
And there we go, we've all walked together at the same time for no reason. Never mind. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. I don't really know why Sharon sounds like a really macho adult. Anyway. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. And she's had a battle. Okay. So she's battling a Patrat. I don't think that's randomized. That seems like the kind of Pokemon that you would actually fight in this area. Okay, so she's using Pound. We know how to do this already. Oh, it's low. That was a good shot. Super low now. Use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. Already knew that. She's got 30! I hope she's going to share, because we don't have any Pokemon. And here we go, it's going to wobble three times, and then she'll catch it first time. Three, and there we go, told you. Gotcha, Petra was caught. Alright. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that, are still, that still have all of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. Ah, so, okay, so she shared some of her 30. So we've got some Pokeballs. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in a Cumula town. Was that right? Akumula? Akuma? I'll have a look on the town map later. She forgot to say the Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. Oh, Sharon. I'm heading to... Ah, uh, it was Akumula. I'm heading to Akumula town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. You already got some. You don't need more. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Tell me, Sharon. I thought it was something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen a sec, seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? We'll not be participating in that, because I can only catch one per route. The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner! Huh, actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the Professor too. Okay then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of feeding your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Snivy will do best for sure. She doesn't have a Snivy though. Randomizer didn't change that text. And off they go. Okay, this seems like the perfect place to stop. So I'm going to save and I think we'll end this episode there. And the next episode can begin with our first Pokemon catch. We'll see what the first... Uh, I've seen other people call them encounter. We'll see what the first encounter will be. Save the game. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time for our first encounter.